in this video i'll be showing you how to make a backup from a gitlab instance and restore it to another newer instance this is an important and an essential task of an administrator to perform these backup operations regularly so that in case of disaster um, events or catastrophic events he can restore the last stable version the instructions covered in this video are um, are for the omnibus installation method which is the default recommended method from gitlab or for all the other installation types i've added the link in the description below so please refer this documentation so it is important to know that the versions from where you're taking the backup and where you're restoring the both of the GitLab versions must be the same and the type of edition also. For example, if you have a community edition 13.7 in the old GitLab, you must have the same community, uh, community edition 13.7 in the other newer VM or a newer in instance. And the instructions which I'm be showing are applicable for versions 13 and above. Or it is mandatory that the two files the secrets and the GitLab configuration file must be manually backed up. This will not be a part of the man, uh, backup process. So please make sure to get a copy of these two files from the older GitLab instance and save it somewhere securely. So backup uh, of GitLab instance is so simple. It's need to type sudo gitlab minus backup and create. Um, in this, the only the projects which are available in GitLab will be backed up. As I mentioned earlier, not the secret files and the configuration file. Default backup location for GitLab backups is var opt gitlab backups. So this can be also configured in the GitLab configuration file gitlab.rp. Before restoring any backup in the GitLab, uh, there are some things to be considered. First thing is, at least once the GitLab CTL reconfigure uh, command has to be performed and make sure the GitLab is running. So once this is done, you need to copy the instance or the backup file from the uh, from this var opt GitLab backups location um to this to the newer instances where op gitlab backups location it is important that the backup file which you are trying to restore should be owned by the git user for the for the restoring purposes in the second step um we need to stop these three processes unicorn puma and sid sidekick once this process is stopped, now it's time to restore the backup. So for restoring the backup, it's similar. So you need to just type sudo gitlab minus backup, restore, and you need to give an argument backup, which is equal to the timestamp and the version number. So in this case, this is the Unix timestamp and this is the date here. And we have we see here the version number 10.6.4 and the edition minus community edition. The rest of this uh, file name will be automatically added uh, along with this instruction. So we don't need to give the entire file name. This will then restore your backup and uh, to your older instance. Now we need to just transfer the configuration file and the secrets file from the older instance into this new one. And finally, we just perform reconfigure, uh, reconfiguration and restart the GitLab. And uh, to make sure everything is working, we just uh, perform this GitLab rig check instruction. And yeah, there you go. Now you have restored your GitLab instance in a newer VM or uh, in a newer instance. So please check out the installation for GitLab. My, uh, please check out my other videos on how to install GitLab and a, a quick start for GitLab. Um, the links for these videos are attached in the description.
and yeah so see you soon bye